Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to My Forgotten Shadow, which is a horror game where you meet a cute cosplayer at a convention, and that cute cosplayer may have followed you home and is now stalking you. Manly. I love the last chapter. It was awesome. Me too. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much for the support. Bye. Keep me money. See you next time. Sad manly. The booth next door looks popular. Yes, I saw. The contrast with mine is depressing. It's the first time I've been to such an event. I'm glad, but no one came. Not even to see my artworks. Plus, the room starts to get empty. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's over for today anyway. It was a pretty full first day. Speak for yourself. There's still two days left, don't worry. Ugh, I'm tired just thinking about it. Hey, we need some help over here. Someone got into the anime room. At the anime con. Because every room is anime. I'm coming. Ugh, they're annoying. I'll be right back. Okay. Good luck with that anime room. When I was invited to the Golden Anime Week convention, I was really happy. But except for one person who mistook me for someone else, nobody really talked to me. Yeah, I know that feel. People just look at me and leave with a sorry look on their face. I won't blame them for not being interested though. After almost two years of being a digital artist in social networks, I finally got a little bit of exposure. It took a while to get there. At first, nobody was interested in what I was doing, until my first webcomic, Henrietta, appeared. The title was a bit short. There were a few people who liked it, but I stopped and started another comic. Oof. It's thanks to this new project that I became known. Gradually, people started to like my art, and I got 100... Yeah, yeah, 100,000 followers on Twitter. Ah. Huh. Well, good for you. If I read that correctly, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, none of those 100,000 people are around. As I came as an artist, I had a small booth, but I feel sorry to waste this place for nothing. No one will come to my booth anymore, I think. Oh, I'm tired. Hello? Whoa, that scared me. Did I surprise you? Yeah. Wait, are you... Henrietta. Yes. It's crazy. Your cosplay is amazing. I didn't expect to see a fan of my first comic here. <laughs> I am your first fan, after all. Seriously? <laughs> Thank you so much. If you knew, it was so complicated to come here. She seems very enthusiastic. I can imagine. I come from far away, too. As we were in a big city, transportation was complicated. Ha ha. <laughs> I bet it took me a lot longer to get here. I believe you then. Oh no, I'm starting to feel shy all of a sudden. W would you like a signed drawing of Henrietta? Yes, it would be an honor. What are your names that can be written in the dedication? Is it Henrietta? Henrietta, of course. <laughs> okay. Cute. It's for someone, so I really have to apply myself. You start drawing. She looks very attentive. That reminds me. What did you think of the end of the comic? The ending? Oh, you mean the last chapter. I loved it as usual. But I would say it lacked action. I wish there was more, you know. Uh, I love action. I understand. And rather abruptly. It was an old story. Old! I really got to do what I want to do in the comic I'm working on now in terms of action. Eh? You think so? Manly, I'm finally out of here. I'll drop you off at your hotel if you want. Okay, give me two minutes. Why? I finished the illustration. Thanks for waiting. Henrietta? Are you there? Uh-oh. Who are you talking to? There was someone here, she suddenly disappeared. Oh yeah, I didn't see anything. 
We started to tell the remaining people to leave. Maybe she ran away because of that. She was the only person who came. I would have liked to give the drawing to her. This was part of that sweet and sour jam. Uh, I think I played another game from this before. Uh, I think it was like a month ago now? There's no one there. This is a staff parking lot. You must be the last to leave. Damn, where did I put my keys? It's getting a little cold. No need to send me coded messages, I know. The parking lot is pretty scary. Maybe I'm paranoid, but... I feel like I'm being watched. Turn your head to the... Ooh, options. Right? Nothing. Okay, I'm paranoid. Ah, I found it. We can go. Okay. But what was to the left? Look left? Oh, she's there. On the left side. There's someone standing there under the streetlight. Is it Henrietta? Look, it's Henrietta! Who is that? The girl from a comic. I, I mean, from earlier. Well, there's no one there. She disappeared again. Maybe she got into her car. But I have the only car in the lot. Oh, okay, your fan's freaking me out. Oh, I thought it. we can go. Okay. It's funny. I know you're making a comic book, but I don't know what it's talking about. A comic book? Yes, yeah, so if it says Henry something I forgot. Ah, oh, that. It's my first project. A cute horror comic book, if I could put it that way. It tells the story of Henrietta, a magical girl who fights monsters. Pretty basic. In reality, she wants to be recognized by people, but everyone is afraid of her. She tries to help others, but she's very clumsy. Oh, nice. What are her powers? The thing is, she doesn't have any powers. She crushes them with an axe. Oh, like, uh... I mean, they still have to have powers, but like, what was like... Dekura-chan? Dekuro? There was like an era of, uh... Edgy Maho Shoujo-ish stuff. There was one of like... The main character was like a zombie? I, I, I always say like... You could see so much media, every towel just starts blending in. Especially if you know how anime is sometimes named. She tries to please the others for gain, some recognition, but the others still hate her. I ended up stopping the comic. It was just a loop of... negative feelings. Because Henrietta is doomed to never be loved. Strangely, the story seemed rather sad to me. Yeah. See you tomorrow. My graphic tablet. Heart. By the way, if you see sometimes the language is a little funny, they did confirm on the, the game page that English is not their first language. So they, they did say that some lines are going to be a little funny or stiff. What do I do to finish the evening? Draw the rest of my webcomic? Draw fun. Let's draw the rest of my webcomic. I feel down about today. I still have to continue this comic I'm working on if I want to earn some money this month. There are some sad eyes out there. Do I hear a noise? Maybe it's my imagination as usual. Something's crying. Hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a multi-day con. Today it's the same. Nobody came to my booth. I'm exhausted. The Super Anime Golden Weekend's tomorrow. A bunch of people are heading towards the exit. I'm so bored. It looks like the cosplayer. Maybe I can give her the drawing. Luckily I kept it in case she came by again. You rush to get the drawing and run to her. Excuse me, you forgot the yesterday's drawing. I already have a theory of what this story is. Or who Henrietta is. We'll, uh, we'll see how it plays out. 
Henrietta! I'm screaming, but I'm still too far away. She's looking at you. Why is she staring at me like that? Scary. Because you were drawing the webcomic last night. Someone pushed you and you lost sight of her. Ouch! I think it's better to let her go. There's no point in going tomorrow. Nothing I do has any value. That's why nobody cares. They're right. No. I must not let these thoughts get in the way. I should have this week's chapter done by tonight. I just have to color the drawings from yesterday. You felt a strange wind coming from behind you. The window's open! I didn't close the window properly. Before you turn around, you see a reflection in your tablet. I didn't close the window properly? Before you turn around, you see a reflection in your tablet. What is that? Why? Why you look so chill now? Chill now? I think that's because there's an axe behind me! The cosplayer. What are you doing here? You're not allowed to be here. What do you mean I'm not allowed to be here? The axe looks very real. Shut. I gotta be careful. It's dangerous. I mean, what, what do you want? What I want? I want you to focus on me. Who are they? She points the tablet on the table. She points to the tablet. I'm not enough. Not enough? Why do you say that? This is a very weird Henrietta roleplay. I'm not into yonder- I am Henrietta. This is 301. She's about to break the table in half. No, my graphic tablet! That's what you're worried about, huh? You managed to save your tablet. After all this time, I finally managed to come back into your life. It took so long to be here again. I was so happy while you... All you could think about was getting rid of me. You created me now that you know and you want to get rid of me. You freaking hypocrite. What's going to happen to me? She comes closer. No, it's nothing like that. I just wanted to move on. Wrong answer. You don't understand me. Please don't cry. You're backing out, though. Stop backing up, then. You throw me away and you want to run away from me now? You want to erase me, too? Run away. I have to get away as soon as possible, first of all. Something seems strange. She says something about deleting. If I delete the folder that contains all my illustrations of her, will she disappear? You take a look at your tablet. I know what you're thinking. Don't you dare. Be ready for the QTE. You must... Wait, oh, wait, what? Oops. Gotcha. No. <laughs> That'll teach you a lesson. What's up? I didn't do anything yet. Arg. Oh. No. Manly. I get crushed. Ending for a heart attack. Oh god. Henrietta fell on the floor. You managed to escape from her. It's not fair. Why do you hate me? Control alt delete. I mean delete. You left me then. Why are you rejecting me now? I don't hate you, but I can't move forward my life if you keep coming around. Also, you tried to murder me with an axe. I don't hate you, I'm sorry. Also, you tried to murder me with an axe. Erase. It's not enough to just be sorry. I don't want to disappear, I want to exist. You know you're an illusion. My bad feelings always come back to ruin my life. At least draw me an ending. Manly. Ending two. Heal. Apologize. I never meant to hurt you, I'm sorry. I will never leave you again. Nice. Is that true? 
How can I believe you? I'll draw you lots of adventures. I'll do whatever it takes to make you have fun. You promise? I promise. Are you not going to come anymore? Of course. Not. Half smiley face. I want to see you design all the future adventures you tell me about. I'll stay with you until I think it's enough. What? No, it's impossible. It doesn't happen today. It can take years. It doesn't matter at all. I have a lot of time ahead of me. <laughs> you were drawing before I came, so draw. Oh no. After that, she kept me company every day. Nice. When I'm with others, she seems to fly away. As if she can only appear when I'm alone. When I'm at home, she watches everything I do carefully. She looks normal, but she doesn't let her guard down. I always keep her axe now. Every day I'm scared of her. I'm forced to draw every day. I have to keep working hard to finish this damn comic. If I ever want to be free. Will she ever be satisfied? Nor ever will I ever be saved. Ending 1. Trapped in the Illusion. Draw for fun. I feel like I went to this event for nothing, but I saw a fan at least. Anyway, I hope she was a real fan. Seeing a cosplay of Henrietta reminds me of her. It's been so long since I drew her. I have to admit that it doesn't bring back very good memories to talk about it again. When I created my first original character ever, I was depressed. I had no job, no study, no one to talk to. I didn't want to do anything anymore. All the days were blurred together. Until the day I created Henrietta. She's happy. I used to feel like she was the only person I could count on. Like an imaginary friend. I started to draw a story in the hope to become known and finally be able to share with others. Now that I feel better, I think I don't want to draw this character anymore. I don't want to face it again. She's part of the moments I prefer to forget. Bad move. Today's the same, nobody came to my booth. I'm exhausted. The Super Anime Golden Weekend's tomorrow. Which way I towards exit? I'm so bored. It looks like the cosplayer. Maybe I can give her the drawing. Luckily, I kept it in the case she came by again. You rush to get the drawing and run to her. Excuse me, you forgot yesterday's drawing. Henrietta! I'm screaming, but I'm still too far away. She's looking at you. Why is she staring at me like that? Someone pushed you and you lost sight of her. She looked happier in this route. Come back. Please. She ignored me. There's no point in going tomorrow. No idea has any value, that's why nobody cares. They're right. I didn't draw this week's chapter, but I feel so sleepy. No, I have to draw tonight. Just a little bit. You feel something heavy on you, but you're too tired to move. Something is squeezing my hand. Open your eyes. Yes. Um, thank you. Oh my god. No. Don't move. Let's stay like this a little longer. Screams internally. Huh? The cosplayer. I am not disguised. Is it real? He did so much. <laughs> do, do you want to kill me? No way. I prefer to kill some monsters. It's more fun. This is a joke. Why are you being weird? Be glad I'm here instead. What are you doing here? Stop acting like you don't know me. Stop being so dense. It's getting annoying. I'm tired of having to explain myself. Continue to draw instead. I'm calling- Who? As soon as they come, I'll be gone. They can't see me. <laughs> I'm in a weird situation. After a while, I gave up. I don't know if she was straight out of my comic book, traveling like she said, 
or if she's from my imagination. When I'm alone, she appears because I'm the only one who can see her. It seems that she loves to watch me draw, but I can't draw anything else but her. I why she gets aggressive. She doesn't let me go outside, neither. So I stay home as much as possible to keep us together. How do I buy food? Just order it? Thanks to her, I never feel lonely. Ending triple. Never again alone. So that's it for My Forgotten Shadow. Part of the uh, Sweden Sour Jam, I believe it was called. So the story kind of went where I thought it would. I, I knew it was like a possibly a, uh, a cartoon enters the real world kind of thing. Ba basically, it's Cool World, okay? It, it is literally Cool World. But I don't think she's actually alive or anything. It's, uh, you know, it's it's your imagination or your how you're perceiving the world anyway. Uh, and this is a game that's... It, it's kind of like a hidden... It's a hidden... Graphic design is my passion, uh, artist horror game. Where the horror is not that you have a yandere or this or that. The horror is that you went down into graphic design and art. And you are suffering because of the ups and downs by the nature of that field is. So in this case, you know, the artists and the art are reflecting each other. The first character in his comic, he was kind of mad about it represent a more darker part of his life. Doesn't mean that was more popular, that he felt better about this. Like, this is a better work. And then I'm assuming the no one purveying his booth, no one recognizing him at the uh, convention, whatever, kind of set off his depression again, his memories. Hence what Henrietta appears, because he remembers, like, man, I remember my first comic and everything. I thought this new comic, like, it's already taken off. Like, why is no one here, right? That's all, like, in the one ending, you, like, you just die from a heart attack. Like, the vision is just so shocking, it just kills you. So it takes a nightmare scenario for artists, which is you spend all the money and time to go to a convention and you don't make your money back or you just get very low attendance or something happens like that. And it may convert it into a yandere form. So there's, it's not an entirely new concept for media in general. Like I said, there was Cool World. There was, was a, there was one with like a monkey in it. Uh, there was some... Crypt Tales, Tales of the Crypt Keeper, Keeper uh, just, I think at least one or two that had to do with artists. I mean, it was like some anthology horror movie that had something like that. But in all those cases, the, the thing that comes to life is real. Like I said, I, I don't think this one's real. This one's more about a relatable subject. Those other ones were like, oh, horror, but now there's a cartoon character. I think even Goosebumps had that. It's a plot line at some point. Like I said, it, you, it's always real in all those. This one's not. So, evaluating it feels kind of game jammy because we're kind of short. Uh, it does have the translation issues because this is, like I said, uh, English is not the creator's first language. Certain lines are delivered a bit stiff. So we lose emotional impact. I do very much like the idea of the, the artist just stressed out and it's kind of an interesting enough premise to have an anime convention booth kind of be the catalyst of a thing. At the same time, she was never, like, really a threat, and I guess that's partially the point, because that you lose, like, a horror aspect. So, I don't think this story could have been told in the time limit we were given. Like, was like, 20-something 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, maybe? I'm, I'm it's probably going to end up being around that. This is, this is a bare minimum an hour-long story that's required. Maybe an hour and a half. Maybe even up to two. Because you do need intimidation from the antagonist to add some stakes. And then you need some more down scenes to add even more relatability to the pro tag. So we do need some like breathing room, basically. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching Play My Forgotten Shadow. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.